Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and Spain. Here we have lots of grass and we are still part of the contentious debate about cutting or not cutting this grass. Anyway, I did some experiments. This one was cut four meters and on the left, on the far right, it was not cut. Now the people who advise that we cut, they say this grass here, they just photo oxidize these are now just carbon stalks standing there and here <laughs> we have carbon stalks lying there so in my specific case in this specific year in this specific experiment i personally believe there was no change, no benefit in cutting or not cutting. No benefit from cutting. And the idea is that this organic material will return to the soil. In my specific climate this year, it does not happen and it will not happen. The, I understand what the people are saying. I understand that they want this organic material to go into the soil and not into the air, carbon dioxide uh, release. But it does not happen. Should I cut it earlier so that it is green it might benefit the soil, but I cut all the seeds and I lose a lot of the variety of species that I would like to encourage. Should I, carry, should I cut it and collect it and mulch other things? I think I am on a better road than leaving it. But just by leaving it, I also protect the seeds that are between this grass and this, the earth. There, I think I even protect it more. I am not clear at all. I think it depends on each season what I should do. Should the dry season come early, then I can just wait for the seeds to ripen and cut and then leave it. Should the dry season come late like this here, there's nothing I can do because um, the seeds must still ripen. I don't know. I just know that this is not a blanket statement that can be applied to this farm. I do not want to cut and bale this remove it this was also cut here and not there i specifically wanted to see what happens between the germination of the cork oak from this tree between here where i have cut the grass and there where i didn't do it 
So we still have a lot to learn. I am uh, doing some small experiments. I also have the remaining problem that cutting also destroys the saplings of these various oak trees we have. We try to propagate on this land. So it is not possible to identify all of them. I cannot identify three or four because those I need to identify thousands, thousands of them because I don't know which ones will survive or not. Here we have the saplings. Now the same thing is here in the grass. I must just look and find it, but it's difficult. So uh, only when you have killed it, you notice that there was a plant. I cannot identify one of... Ah, oh, here is one. To cut or not to cut Sure, both have their pros and cons. I think in the end it, it is about the specific season. It is about what I want to accomplish. And it is about my specific conditions of land, temperature, slope, orientation towards the sun kind of grasses I try to encourage. Okay, I am learning. Till next time, goodbye.